Welcome to renovating an abandoned dump truck. Uh, we jacked with it enough and I can't get it going where it's sitting. I even had Steven and Willie come out and help me with it. They were there for like an hour and we couldn't, couldn't get it to freaking run on its own. So I found a guy to tow it to their shop. So we're gonna move this thing to their shop where they can get their diagnostics on it, try to figure out what exactly is going on. I think it's nothing big. I really think it's nothing big. I hope it's nothing big. But we can't freaking figure it out. So we gotta take it into the shop, get some work done. Currently filling up the air tank to unlock the brakes on this thing so we can winch it onto this dude's trailer. On the road again. See if those holding bros can work their magic on my new dump truck. The thing about holding bros is they steal all my vehicles. They now have my dump truck. Earl is also here, because I uh, blew a transmission in Earl. They're putting a new one in. Our ranch tang's inside, I think. And I need to get the Cuda here, too. We got her unloaded, and we'll see what they say after they get time to check her out. We'll be back. Today's episode is sponsored by AG1. AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. So what is foundational nutrition? Well, we're all different, right? Of course, but our bodies all need the same nutrient foundation that nourish the systems that power our health. AG1 has 75 different vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. They've perfected a science-driven formula to support the brain, the gut, and the immune system. I've been using AG1 every morning for a little over three months now, and I really love knowing that I'm giving my body a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals to support my immune system that I might be missing in my diet alone. You guys know I love working out, and I've really felt the difference in my recovery time, and ingredients like magnesium definitely improve how long I stay sore after a heavy lift. It tastes like complete world domination with a hint of veggies and sweetness. Go to drinkag1.com slash off the ranch to get started on your order. AG1 is gonna give my community a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's episode. While we wait on them to check that thing out, you saw in my last video that my Bronco has a winch on the front. It's got a, um, an 8,000 pound winch. And I was thinking, Maybe it'd be cool to have a winch on this. And I actually have a spare winch. That is a 12,000 pound winch, and I got it from Warren when I was going to actually put it on my 2012 Ram 2500. I got a new bumper, and it was had a spot where you could put a winch, but they didn't have the bracket yet. It was like a brand new bumper. They hadn't made the winch mounting bracket yet. And so I was gonna wait and put it on there whenever they came out with that, and then I just forgot about it, and that thing just stayed stored here. So I've had this, nice winch that I'm like, I should put on something. I'm like, well, should I put it on this truck? Like I put it on my F-350, might be cool. I could put it on Cuda, but there's not really room. There's an intercooler up there. There's not a whole lot of extra room in the Cuda. So I started thinking about like, maybe I should just get a new bumper for this thing because one of my employees was actually driving this thing with the trailer and turned too sharp and dented in this bumper. So I was like, I could get two new bumpers and have the front one be winch ready. But honestly, we could probably use a winch on the new F-250 named Merle, and it already has a big bumper that has a receiver hitch in the front of it. And that gave me an idea. I was like, what if I just got one of those cradles that you put a winch in and you can move it around from vehicle to vehicle? Because this truck has a receiver hitch in the back. The Barracuda has a receiver hitch in the back. Merle has a receiver hitch in the front and the back. Earl has a receiver hitch in the back. So we could have one winch that we just, because you don't use a winch a ton but it's really nice when you do need it. So what if we could just move it around between our vehicles? So, I actually ordered a cradle. So this is just a cradle, I already bolted in here. I got all the, all the cable out of this so that I could bolt it down, but I put that on the front, I bolted this thing into the cradle, and I actually had to take this whole thing apart. It was like, I put, took like 20 bolts out of this thing, took it all apart so that I could mount these cables on here so I have quick connects. So before it had uh, these. Right here, had these long cables coming out because normally you mount a winch directly to your battery. But we need quick connects because this thing needs to be able to come off. So, that has that. We will mount, we'll probably actually mount these to Merle, this quick connect, because it'll go straight to the battery and then you'll just hook that thing to the front of the truck, plug it in. But, to use on the other trucks, I actually ordered a bunch more cable right here so that I can make long cables because it's gonna be plugged in in the back. It needs to go all the way to the front and I got some quick connects and some clamps. So they'll just clamp directly to batteries. So you'll be able to use them in any vehicle that has a hitch. 
That's so cool. And I've been working on this a lot. I spent like a while getting all that hooked up and just a lot of time researching. Um, and then I actually ordered this cable to be, like it's nice, it's flexible, it's long. One, it's one hot cable. So I got black and red, but it came in. I didn't realize when I ordered it off Amazon that it is aluminum cable. It's copper clad aluminum cable. So it has some copper around it. And so I just saw copper cable. I was like, cool, that's the cheapest one. It's cheapest because it's actually aluminum. Aluminum does not carry electricity as well. Did a bunch of research. I've been, I've been learning myself up on some electricity. Oh, so I went ahead and spent more money and got some solid copper cables because they will carry a lot more amperage, which will make our winch work a lot better. It would stink to have a 12,000 pound winch, but you can't pull 12,000 pounds because you got bad battery leads. So we're gonna have good ones. I think these are gonna be long enough. It's so close. It's actually, I mean, it's good, it's perfect, but like could not have been much shorter. So there's our battery right there. This is our longest truck, so we're trying on this one. There's a lot of droop in here. You could uh, stretch it out more. And we got a little bit of room there. That's close. If it was like two feet shorter, I'd be a little worried, but I think it's perfect. So I'm gonna hook quick connect on one side, and then uh, we're gonna have battery clips on the other. And then this thing should be ready to reel that cable back in. We have checked over everything on old Dumpy and we think it needs an ECM. What? We have fuel, high pressure oil, but we don't have injectors firing off. Inside the ECM is the IDM, the injector, injector driver module. We can send computer to CAT and they will check it. The only downfall is the ECM is $3,800. I'm gonna get it sent off and checked and make sure that's our problem. Holy crap! $3,800 for an old computer? Cat, come on, man. Anyways, dump truck's working out great. God, that's a big bummer. That's a big, solid bummer. You know what? It's time to thank our sponsor. Holy cow. Went ahead and mounted. It on Merle and it looks freaking good. I ran some paracord down the path. Well, that's not it. Down the path down there where I want this to go. And I'm gonna hook uh, this to it and pull it back up through there. Cause the other way I tried to make it pass but this thing's too big so I'm just gonna tie it to a little string, pull it up through there so I can hook to a battery and it'll be perfect. So this end hooks right in here like that. This end, I'm going to snake in between the bumper and the truck right here. Then I'll tie it to the string right here and hopefully pull it right to the battery. And if my calculations are correct, I can pull this thing up here Ugh. straight to where it needs to go. Ugh. All right, it needs a little work. Got it. Sweet. I got negative to negative, positive to positive. Runs down through there, hooks up. What are you, you're not even gonna wait and see if it works? All right, we're gonna see if this thing works. I gotta find the controller first. Don't worry, Mauser, I found it, it's, it's here. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, we got a winch. Mikey gonna be doing work now. All right, we gotta do better. We gotta unroll it. Got it, now we put this thing through here, and we have ourselves a winch. Mikey, you better find something to winch on this thing ASAP. Can we get a locking hitch, we can leave it on here if we want, or just, it'll probably spend most of his time in the barn. You're not gonna use a winch every day, but whenever we need it, we got it. When we don't need it, it just pops off. Go put it on the shelf. Progress. And then that thing will just kind of hook there in that little tow hook. And good to go on that one. What did I do with my, yep. Whoops. Now what about on the back of a long truck? So these are the connections that go into this big thing, um, which plugs in. And the way they work, they go this way, 
and they kind of just go over each other and sit like that and that's what makes a connection. So I didn't have a crimper for something this big, so I just put in a vise and I just jammed it down and I think they're good. Now I gotta put them into here, so we got positive first and it's gonna be just like that. And then negative goes in. Oh, they click, there you go. Just like that. And you can see those terminals in there. So one end of our extension cord is good and now I'm gonna put clamps on the other end because this end is gonna plug into the winch. The other end is gonna go all the way to the front of the truck where the batteries are and just clamp on. This will be a temporary mount system so we can move between truck to truck. It'll go on literally any truck. We got them hooked up. Now let's see if it works. Battery hooked up. And looks like I won't have to go over the truck, which is good. Put her in. And we got freaking rear winch. <laughs> All right, this is cool. I have nothing I need to winch today. This is just something that has been on my to-do list for a long time and I planned on doing Dump truck stuff all day today and that got canceled. So I was like, man, I'm gonna freaking take care of this winch thing. Yeah, man, I freaking love it. Okay, so normally, uh, you know, we'll keep this thing unplugged and this will stay in a toolbox. We'll keep that unplugged and this line will be rolled up in a toolbox as well. I actually hate how they're split right now. I'm gonna spend a bunch of time and fix that right now. Much better. Sweet, so we got our winch in our cradle now. I got my winch controller, and then I have our winch power cables to hook up to any vehicle here. And then I had these and I was like, man, it's half jumper cables. Like what if I just built like a little, a little pigtail thing and you just hook that together and then you got a set of jumper cables too, just in case you need it. It's like got everything. Holy cow, that's awesome. I mean, this thing doesn't run right now, but when it does, that's gonna be awesome. Also, check this thing out. It's a handmade wooden, it's actually hickory, and it's a cash box from Johnny Smithers. That reminds me of The Simpsons. My wife and I have been watching Demolition Ranch for years and I also watched some of your off the ranch abandoned mansion and now your resort rehab. Sweet, he said, this solid hickory cash box was hand built with your logo as a small token appreciation for the entertainment you provide me and my family and to the work that you like doing. Cool, and he makes custom trailers and he wants to build us a merch trailer. That's actually something we thought about doing, um, but we also have to stick a car in there is the problem. And so we just built a custom trailer I'll show it to you soon, I gotta get it back. Mikey and I spent a bunch of time working on this, um, basically shelving for our trailer, but it's just for storage, it's not to actually like, sell merchandise out of, but it was so we could get as much in storage in the trailer, and also a car for our trips to Bristol and Indianapolis and all that stuff, but appreciate it, man, this thing's awesome. So yeah, he made this little cash box right here. Um, yeah, it just opens up, we actually, will probably take this thing to Bristol, because this is pretty sweet, and then, Put the cash there and throw a little magnet on top of it, keep it from blowing away. So, yeah, Mr. Smithers, thank you very much. Also, he said he's in San Antonio for the next couple of days, uh, the 16th through the 18th. I just missed you. Sorry, Johnny, you the man though. Thank you for sending that thing, making that thing. It's super awesome. Hello there, fellas. I have been wanting to spread all this dirt out that I moved out of the pond when I dug out the pond. I've been wanting to pull it all back and flatten it out. I just uh, haven't had time, been super busy out here. But since I'm not messing with a dump truck right now, I'm free today. The sheep have loved having a freaking pond back out here. Hey guys, this is all part of my plan to get all the sheep inside this fence so that I can maybe get rid of some sheep. And the pond just freaking holds water. It's like way better than I would have expected. The well is not even on all the time. Like it's actually not on much, but it just has this like perfect, like total bedrock bottom that does not let the water leave. A lot of life coming back into this place. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get to work. Start pulling all this back, making all these giant piles around the pond get flatter so sheep can actually use the pond. I also am gonna try to make, I think they were using that right there, but I'm gonna make that right there to where they can just walk down in the pond so the little ones can get water as well. I think I make an area over there too. Let's turn this into something a little more usable and pretty.
now in the presence of a So listen, I was gonna have y'all some sick GoPro shots. Um, had a little montage, like some time lapse. I had some, you know, out over here, some mounted on the Bobcat. Um, but, but I lost the GoPro. Some, I mean, what's good about it, I know it's here, it's just, at least it's not buried under dirt. I don't know where it is. I got out of the Bobcat and it was not on, just this was on the Bobcat. Cool. Just lost a $400 camera and it's here. But I'll never find it. Anyway, otherwise it's going great. You are now in the presence of a... Dang, look at that, looks freaking great. So I just smoothed it all out. And once the grass comes back, it's gonna look really nice. Nice, gentle slope up to our wall. Someday I think we need to go through and redo this wall. Parts of it are totally collapsed, parts of it are leaning in, probably going to collapse. But the collapse actually made it really nice for the sheep and the little lambs to get down in there and get water because they would not be able to get in and get out here. So there's several little places over there where they can get out. They also can just walk in that side. Someday, especially after going out to West Texas and seeing that kind of resort that's gonna have a similar vibe to this, someday I want to have fishing out here. So I wanna stock this thing. Let me know, what do you think? Just stock it with some some minnows and some bluegill and then some bass and catfish. Or we can do something more exotic. I don't know, we can do whatever we want. Look at all these dragonflies everywhere. They're just not scared of anything. There's no fish in there at all, so they don't have to worry about it. We're already getting plant life down there too, which is crazy. Like this thing has been going for, I don't know, a couple months and there's already just plants growing everywhere in it. There's like water bugs. I see bugs diving in there too. What are these? Look at them. There's a bunch of those like beetles. They're coming up. They're everywhere. They're coming up, getting air, and then they dive back down underwater into the little bushes. Nature, man. These bugs out here just living their best life. Not a care in the world. No one to run from. They have no idea. I'm gonna stock this thing with some freaking monsters. I just want this thing to be awesome. I want kids to wanna come out here and go fishing. I want it to be like they wake up at 7.30 in the morning like, Dad, can we go out to the range? And the dad's like, no, the range doesn't open until nine. But we can go fishing, and he's like, yeah, let's go fish. It's just gonna be the best magical place ever. So good. I actually needed to finish this because I need this at my other property. That ain't going nowhere. I am down a GoPro for the day, but I'm up a beautiful pond. So I'm gonna count that as a win. Tilt deck trailer for the win. Never mess with ramps again. All right, we're at the HQ now. Uh, I got something I need to take to the resort. It's a little deer feeder here. Perfect. As you guys, I'm sure, can guess, I'm a huge hunter. Giant. I just kill everything. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not really. Uh, I like hunting. I've, I've been hunting a lot of times, actually. Um, but I haven't killed a deer in a few years. Um, it's just not, you know, it's not one of those things that I love. Like, I'm not one of those guys who just has to go hunting every year. I like it. It's fun to do, but... I mean, you can imagine, in the position I'm in, I've been invited by tons of companies to go hunt all kinds of crazy game. And I just tell them no. I'm like, nah, I don't want to travel to Montana to go hunting. That's really far. I'd rather hang out with my kids. But this is Crispy's feeder, and I actually have Crispy's uh, his blind out here, too. I'm going to take them both out to a resort because I promised Crispy that he can shoot an Axis deer out there. So... 
gotta get a blind out there. And I'm just gonna use this feeder to attract all my goats. And then eventually I want feeders all over the property just for deer to come eat. Like, it, there will be no hunting on that property eventually because it's just gonna be a you know, recreational place. But no hunting, I want animals to be everywhere out there. So we're gonna feed them all and kill zero of them. But I promised Crispy that he could kill one before we open. I gotta actually take this thing up into the barn right now because it needs a little work. Some squirrels been messing with the feeder. Or maybe mice. I don't think a squirrel could actually get in here. But shouldn't be corn in here. It looks like just the ground wire is off. No, it's the, it's actually the positive. Let me get this battery out for what we miss in here. What, where did this go? That's a negative, oh, that goes here. Yeah, so something just came and chewed these wires in half. Real cool. Let's see if I fixed it. Three, two, one. Sweet. He's spinning. Good to go. We have a working feeder again. Take that squirrel, probably named Joey or something. Look, they're using the little pass I made for them. They love it. So we got sheep, we got a feeder, we got water. Pretty much perfect scenario to make them start hanging out in here more often. The shop that had the ECU for the dump truck just confirmed that our ECU was bad. So they got us a remanufactured one, reflashed it. Ugh. So we're gonna go to Holden now, put it on the machine and see if she fires. Fingers crossed we can get this thing running. We back, and they're still very busy. Look at all these trucks they have to work on. That's our new ECU, they got it hooked in. Yep. What do y'all think, you think it's gonna fire? They haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's, I think it's gonna fire. It has to, man. We had, we had so many injector codes that it has to be the driver. Yep. We figured that, but it's a Caterpillar, so if you don't know your best buddy's neighbor's brother's uncle who works at Cat, then you just, you gotta deal with somebody. So we ended up taking it off, Thankfully, Matt sent one of his guys to San Antonio over to Holt Cat. They tested the thing, and the guy said, hey, we only see two injector codes, um, but they typically are only there if it has a failed driver. Wait, like, so oh. they weren't even sure? The guy said they, they typically... I might have paid $4,300 for nothing. Well, 4300 just a computer. You still got to pay us, so <laughs> well over 40 No, no, no. I thought we were friends here. <laughs> and y'all got late fees on this thing because yeah. it's not running, so y'all oh, yeah. owe me for yeah, that. Yeah. No, I know. Let's <laughs> we'll figure that out. We got a... Uh, no, we checked high-pressure oil. It made 15 or 2,000 PSI cranking, which is plenty of high-pressure yes. oil. We shot diesel out the return side. Sweet. The cylinder head, so it had So diesel. we think we're primed. Yeah, All the we, wiring looked good, so I mean, if it's not the computer, then like... Just drive it off a cliff. I'm gonna swap yes. a first gen 12 valve in Yeah, we, I have a first gen 12 valve, perfect. Okay. Twin turbo. We got plans. Let's go. Dude. I got a good feeling. Yeah, this is gonna work. I don't well, at all. We also have two batteries now, so it's probably gonna spin. A little more cranking amps. Yeah, we had one tired battery before. Grabbing the keys. You need keys? What? Come on, kitty kitty. And the check engine light went off. <laughs> Well, that's either good. <laughs> yes! Yeah. We Woo! did it! We did it! We got a, a horn doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Right there. Yeah. Woo! Nice work. Yeah, hey, man. good job. We got a dump truck. Hey. Now we're cat mechanics. Man, I'm really glad I don't have to dump any more. Yeah, anybody, uh, you have caterpillars, bring them here. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the time. <laughs> that was perfect. Sweet. Man, I was so worried. Like, I'm like, we're going to place this, and it's just not going to work. That was great. Yeah. 
So we've got we got other little stupid stuff to do like yeah like we're able to like make it all the way back without no boost yeah exactly yeah. With that blowing out so yep. we want to just check a couple of little silly things sweet to make sure that it's good to go so we're probably ready to ready to pick up tomorrow yeah drive okay. it around a little bit check coolant level and all that kind of stuff excellent I love it yeah I mean whatever you think it needs uh, I got m tons of money to spend you know like yeah right just on. like. Whatever, it's new dump truck, let's just dump thousands into yeah, it, day yeah. one. Not even work it, just nah. spend a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's paint it blue, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, do, um, do whatever. You know what it actually does need? Have you seen the bed? No. Does it need plated or fixed? Yeah, uh, actually it doesn't look too bad here, but oh, okay. yeah, you can see the cracks oh, yeah. through there. Some of this up here, this yeah. is pretty. Yeah, yeah it, it needs a whole, uh, I'm gonna have to get some get some welding done in this thing. Do you want that done while it's here? I mean, I was planning on doing it, okay. but unless, you know, if you guys are really bored, Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just bored. Didn't look like y'all had many trucks out front, so. <laughs> no. I think it's fine. I think it... Yeah. As soon as you dump some rocks in there, it'll be great. They're gonna do a couple more things. We're gonna get this thing back to the resort. Start moving dirt. Are you guys making YouTube videos anymore? We are, man. We just, we, we have like, we do like 10 videos and then we have like a lull of a week or two because we kind of suck a well, little we bit. We kind of got tricked into thinking we were TV stars, and then that came in with a bomb and <laughs> blew it up. Yeah. So now we're back to reality, and we're just regular old guys. Oh, there goes gravity. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you know the Willie's rabbit. gonna rap in some videos. Yeah. I'll keep working on trucks. I uh, I told you guys you weren't TV stars from the beginning. I know. I know. You were the only one that knew. I knew. I was like, wrong. I look at you guys. I'm like, come on. Like, yeah. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys. You guys have tools. Like, yeah. it's not in the cards. It's pretty cool. Uh, well, Matt's pretty cool. Well, start getting your freaking channel going again. No, we Let's are. go. Put that on it. We are. Yep. We have some really cool stuff. You know about it, Matt, but y'all mm -hmm. guys don't know about it yet. Y'all come check out the channel. We got a lot of cool stuff. Randy's oh, transmissions yeah. hooked Matt up on a couple builds. We got mm -hmm. that stuff. We got another video fixing a drop. That, that's why this entire engine's gone. You might notice there's it's a little light in the front. Yes. We also talked to another turbo manufacturer who's an American-made turbo manufacturer out of Alabama. We're hoping to get hooked up with those guys so that we can put two turbos on Ranch Tank. Whew. Really send it all the way. And uh, and to top it off, our merch is on Bunker's website, so y'all should check it out yeah do uh, it go get a shirt go get you a shirt and uh buy my shirts too so i can pay off this computer i just yeah. bought yeah <laughs> thanks for watching this episode dump truck stuff coming up soon we got dumps like a truck what what thanks for watching i love you goodbye Woo! oh i'm on fire Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare. Oh, yeah!